I'm making pretty good progress on my um, junk mail journal. A couple of days ago, it was just a completely white, gessoed um, children's board book. And now it's, it's shaping up pretty good, actually. I'll do a quick flip through and show you what I've done and kind of where I think that I'm going with it. Um, I still don't know if I want it to be a book book or a stand-up sculptural thing. I've got stuff in here that's going to fall out if I open it. Um, so I'm kind of keeping my options open. I'll decide about that later on. I've got in this first part here, I, um, and okay, before I get any further, these little uh, strings that are holding the signatures in the book, these are my temporary binder things. Um, I'm using these just to hold stuff in while I'm working on it so that I can see um, how it fits, how it's going to look. It just kind of helps me decide if that's what I want to do. And uh, normally when I get done getting everything like I want it, I would get rid of those strings and then do some kind of a stitch binding. But for this book, I actually think I'm going to use some strings like this. I'll get some, you know, decorative yarns or whatever, not these plain things. But I might just, um, I might just do this. It would be easier than trying to stitch through this cardboard. It hurts my hands. So I may do that. And I'll show you. I've got one back here that I haven't tied in. And I can show you real quick. All I did was get a piece of string, pull it around. Remember I cut the spine cover off so it's all exposed. And then just tie it. And that'll just hold it into place while I'm working so that I can uh, get a good idea of what it's going to look like and how it's going to hold up. There we go. And then I'm thinking about those for that page, so I'm going to stick those back in. So that's all those strings are. Um, this first part, I took one of those perfume advertisements that come in a magazine, and uh, this is where the little scented strip was. I put some glue there and made a little pocket, and then inside the pocket, I put this, it's just a little book that I made out of a paint sample. See, just a little notebook thing out of those free paint things that you get at the hardware store. So I tucked that into my little scented pocket and then I, uh, I put some scrapbook paper on the back and then used another paint chip sample to um, attach it to the, that's one of those postcards. I've got some little postoids here that I think I'm going to put right there looks pretty good to me and I might put a tab on here like that just because um, let's see I, I can't remember what I showed last uh, I don't remember if I showed that I've covered some of the pages well pretty much all of them actually of the book with um, all kinds of different things this is one of those paper towels that I used when I was painting the uh, junk mail postcards. And you remember how the paper towels looked just so awesome and I loved them? Well, yeah, I actually use them. So I just glued it onto the board book. Next page, those were leftover uh, punch outs from some other project. And here's one of the postcards that I made. I've tied it in and I'm thinking about putting this scrap piece of tissue paper right there and this is a uh, picture I don't know I think it's one of Dugas ballerinas maybe that's what it looks like I'm not sure but I thought it was so cool because look if I put it here look how it's green and then green and then it goes around to the you know pinky purpley yeah yeah me and Duga were like that I'm telling you and then on this side, I've got, I sewed together one of those magazine droppings, you know, it falls out of magazines. 
and made a little pocket out of it. And this is an old um, artist trading card that I made years ago. So I might stick that in there, glue that to there, and then here's another postoid I might stick right there. So that's what I'm thinking about for that page. And on it, on this um, page of the board book, I just put my strips of the um, handmade washi tape that I made from Jenny Belly's tutorial. I thought that turned out really good. And this page, I've got another postcard in there. And on the inside, I covered the postcard with some tissue paper. See if I can find it so you can see what it looks like. Yeah. This is what it looks like. But the color and the print from the postcard behind it shows through. So it, I, I think it's really neat looking. I mean, okay, yeah, you can see the CVS thing, but I like that. You know, my intention is not to completely cover up all of the junk mail. Um, that's that the book is made out of. If I was going to do that, I, I could just make the thing out of cardstock. You know, what would be the difference? If I'm going to make a junk mail journal, I, I want it to be obvious that there's some junk mail in there. So, yeah, I like that that shows through, and I, I think that really works well. So I put this in, and usually when I like cover pages like this, I do wrap around to the back, and, um, you know, it just adds extra extra prettiness in there. And I kind of, for this, I'm thinking I might put this little strip right here. And then this is a cutout left over from another project. I'm going to stick it right there. And then I can't decide. It needs a something something in the middle. And I thought, I've got these keys that I covered with resin. They're just kind of old rusty keys. And I thought about maybe putting that there. I kind of like that. Or something round. I thought about this little thing. I don't even know what that is. With a doodad in the middle. Yeah, I like that too. So I'm not sure. I'm going to think about that some more. We'll see what happens. On the inside here, this is a little part book that I made out of, uh, I think it's dictionary pages. I was just playing around. I did it for Valentine's Day. I made one. Didn't do anything with it. It's been sitting in a drawer uh, since Valentine's Day. So I glued it to the postcard so it's almost like a pop-up. Um, more for through paper on here. And that's another paper towel. And here's another one of our postcards tied in. Haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. I don't know. This is some hand-painted um, tissue paper that a friend of mine used to make. And our postcard. And in here I put some, I think that's mulberry paper. And that's a gel medium transfer. And this image that I printed out, it's, I don't know, something I got online. Some free printable thing. Same thing with that flower. And then just that background paper, so it's just a little, I might do something else with that. I don't know yet. Uh, this is a piece of fabric, just some that I bought at the store. And then I made some little tab thingies. I like tabs and stuff in the books. And they're real easy to make if you have a bigger circle punch. You can just punch out a circle, fold it in half, stick it on there, and you've got a tab. I don't have a big circle punch. I have a little one. So I just made little, a little roll of tabs. Um, this is more paper towel background. This is another gel medium transfer. And this is um, an envelope, one of those coin envelope things. Do I have one? Yeah, like that. Stuck that in there. And in the pocket, this is a bookmark that I made out of a, it's another paint chip sample. So, that's all that is, and that's another one of my old trading cards on the front. And this one's waiting for something. I put this in here. It's another leftover cutout, thinking I'd put it like that and then put something inside. But nothing has spoken to me yet, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. I'm just going to leave it there and stare at it till I figure it out. And this page I covered with that uh, transfer paper. 
that I'd use to test out my ink pads. I like that a lot. It's really bright. And I cut this out of a magazine. I'm not sure what she was advertising. She was advertising something. And I thought she would look really pretty like that. Just like that. I like the bright yellow. It, um, it's a good contrast with this dark background. But she needs something else. She looks a little lonely kind of floating there in the middle of the page like that. So i got to figure her out. And I love this peacock. This was off of a sheet of scrapbook paper. And I use a lot of scrapbook paper, um, a lot for backgrounds mostly, but sometimes you find those sheets that, you know, they're like really made for scrapbookers because it'll have a cool image on one side and then all this blank area for you to put pictures in or journal or whatever. I don't scrapbook, so that does me no good really. Um, but occasionally they'll have, you know, that little awesome image on the side will be something like this. It'll be really cool that I can cut out and use. Um, and that's where I got this from. And I'm thinking I might glue this in just about like that. Right there. Because that's really pretty. I love that peacock. Um, let's see. Next page. I glued down instead of using a little string thing, I just glued down one of our postcards and I've got these more paint samples you know, they're free that speaks to me and then I had these slide holders and I stuck some paint samples in there and I'm thinking I might stick those in about like that just for no reason just because I like it and I had a scrap of cardstock that I put right there for a little extended tab thingy. And there's some more paper towel. And this page is waiting for me to do something with it. And then back here, uh, paper towel and another one of the postcards. And then some cutouts I'm going to stick down. So that's where I'm at. It's getting there. It's looking pretty good. And I'll show you right quick. Um, my favorite glue to use for these kinds of things is Yes Paste. And I usually pick it up. I prefer it over Mod Podge. I do use Mod Podge sometimes, but I prefer Yes Paste for a lot of different reasons. It is really super thick, and you can put it on with a credit card. You can just kind of squeegee it on, or I guess that's a hotel key card. I have a whole box full of these because my husband travels. So that makes a good applicator or a stiff brush. What I like about it is, um, you know, this is really too thick to use on fine tissue papers, but it's water soluble, it's archival, it's all organic, and it thins out easily with water. Plus, it stays wet. Uh, it doesn't dry really, really fast. If you want instant dry, this is not going to work. But it sticks good. It's not one of those that you have to hold down while it's drying. It'll hold on to itself while it's drying. But you can just thin it out with some water and then brush it on. The best part about this is while you're working, you know, how, I mean, you're going to get glue all over your hands, right? And when you do that with Mod Podge, it builds up, and then you end up having to kind of, you know, peel it off. This doesn't do that. It doesn't build up. Yes, it's going to dry. It's going to feel a little tacky, but it doesn't make a um, icky layer like Mod Podge does. Oh, you know what? I want to do this first. Where's that corner piece I had? Did I drop it? I had a piece of, of um, that wallpaper. De oh, there it is. I'm going to do this one first because I want that on top. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And see, it's repositionable. So you've got some time to mess with it before it gets stuck down. And then that one there. This is another one of those pieces that came off of a sheet of scrapbook paper. So that's why it's flat on one side on this edge because that was the edge of the paper. But that makes it 
perfect for putting on the edge of something, your project. Now I take a paper towel, my favorite art tool, wet it just a little bit, and then clean up your excess glue. Yeah, anything that got where it's not supposed to be, just clean that up. And that one, yeah, let's go ahead and turn that over. Okay, and that'll just need to dry for a little bit. It won't take it long. I mean, it's it's um it dries slowly, but like I said, it's it's tacky enough that it holds up. I don't have to sit here and, and you know put weight on it while it dries if I don't want to. I can just leave it be and it's going to dry and do its thing. And I don't have dried layers of glue all over me. So this is why I love Yes Paste. And it will work on thick papers, on fabric, on really, really fine tissue papers, um, you name it. It'll, it'll work. Let's go ahead and do this guy. You can do this guy right quick. Spread the glue. Figure out how I want him. About like that. And he's going to get a little funky in the middle because he's on the crease, and that's okay. And, you know, I'm getting glue all over the rest of the book, but, you know, it doesn't matter because while it's wet, it wipes off really easy. So I'm not going to worry about that. There we go. Wipe off the excess. And if I was doing something real collagey, like these flowers I did up here, I put the yes paste on top and underneath, just like you would Mod Podge, like if you were decoupaging. So you can uh, you can use it like that too. This little thing is not wanting to stick because it's on the crease, and I may end up just getting the scissors and whacking that off. Okay. I think we're good. And then if I want to speed it up, I can hit it with the heat gun for a minute. I think I will, so those little little pieces will stick down. Okay. I think that's good. And I'm just going to leave that tail kind of hanging. Um, I may go back and trim that off later. I don't know. For now, I'm going to leave it hanging because I like things hanging out and sticking out and doing their own thing. So, um, that's about it. I'm going to glue the rest of these things down and see what else I can come up with. Um, see if I can make a decision about whether or not this is going to be a book or a little sculptural thing. And um, we'll see what happens next time. Thanks.